We are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Charlie and Ellie, to share with them in their happiness and hopes for the future. I would like to welcome you all to Gorwell Farm. <laughs> the marriage ceremony provides the opportunity to unite friends and family in one place, to celebrate yeah. and share in the joy of the occasion and to offer Charlie and Ellie support, not just on their wedding day, but throughout their married lives together. I, Charles James Lake. Take you, Eleanor Beth Jowett. Take you, Eleanor Beth Jowett. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> your turn. Like Ellie. Yeah. Same question. Okay. Ellie, do you take Charlie to be your husband? I do. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? I'm going to ask you again. I don't know what I had to say. <laughs> do you take Charlie to be your husband? I do. Thanks. Fantastic. And do you promise to respect, support, and comfort him and remain true to him for the rest of your lives together. I do. Fantastic. So, who has the rings? Can you say you've still got them? Ellie, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a symbol of all that we share. As a symbol of all that we share. And in recognition of our shared life together. And in recognition of our shared life together. Charlie, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a symbol of all that we share. As a symbol of all that we share. Of all that we share. <laughs> <laughs> and in recognition of our shared life together. And in recognition of our shared life together. Thank you very much, George. Greatest of pleasures to pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations! Yay! Yay! Woo Can we kiss you? Yes, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 As a father, recalling these memories, it's no wonder that Ellie has grown into a good humoured, generous, polite authentic and loving woman you see here today. It's my absolute joy and I can say with heartfelt pride that you are and will always be my Ellie. Now it's traditional for the father of the bride to pass on some wise words at this point. However, if I were to try and do this, I'd probably fumble and say something that lacks impact. Instead, I've resorted to going with a quote which goes like this. The greatest marriages are built on teamwork, a mutual respect, a healthy dose of admiration, a never-ending portion of love and grace. On behalf of my new wife and I, <laughs> We, uh, we would like to thank you all for coming and celebrating Ellie's special, I mean our special day. <laughs> I'd like to thank Helen and Andy for all the help you've given us, not only in planning and preparing for today, but more often than not, whenever we're in trouble in day-to-day -day lives, the pair of you are always there. Your willingness to help and to share with almost anyone you come across has taught me a lot personally but it's also reflected in us, Ellie's personality and shown in the way she has been brought up to be a beautiful, caring, 
funny and extremely driven woman. So driven in everything that you do, that when you set out a plan to do something, it always gets done, no matter how much of my money it costs. <laughs> Joking aside, your determination always drives me to be better, and without you, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Now, I didn't really think Charlie knew what girls were until we met Ellie back in school. And I'm still not sure how quiet little Charlie worked up the courage to ask her out. No, she asked me out. <laughs> but how's that one? <laughs> it was obviously meant to be, though. And who would have thought all those years ago we'd be here today celebrating the two of you as husband and wife? You two are truly meant to be together, and it's plain to see in how happy you make one another, and how much fun you have together. And I don't think you would both be the amazing people today if it weren't for one another. You've always been so supportive throughout our lives, and shows just how amazing the both of you are. I love the both of you like family, and I'm so happy and excited for the both of you, and see where this next chapter in your lives goes. So, I wish you all the happiness in the world, you both truly deserve it. I often think, what if? What if Ellen and Andy hadn't decided to move down? What if I hadn't got out of bed that morning, just stayed there? What if Ellie wakes up and realises how much I'm punching? I'm way out of my league. I'm still, yeah, still tired. Whenever my mind runs off, though, I never look back and wonder if it could have been any better. On this day and at this stage in our lives, we have worked together to get to where we are now. So from now on, I must tell myself that now is the time to stop reflecting and wondering what if. Now is the time to ask, what comes next? And as long as I have Ellie by my side, I'm not worried at all. <laughs>